Now, because technology is constantly changing, almost by definition, it's a dynamic space, which is always subject to improvements and modification. You need to find ways of staying up to date with technological change. And there are a range of different approaches to doing this. Now, the first is continuous learning. And you are undertaking part of that in your formal studies. But there's also a whole range of informal processes to engage with continuous learning. But particularly in the technology space, where things have to change every year or so, it's important to find ways of staying abreast of these changes. And I've given you a whole range of different techniques and approaches that you can explore to support your continuous learning. And it's also the concept of digital fluency. Yes, we have digital literacy, where we have some, a base level of understanding of technology in order to be able to do our jobs and to operate in society. But there's also digital fluency, which gives us additional advantage in terms of being able to engage with technologies at a much more fundamental and complex um, processes than simple digital literacy. So define digital fluency and look at how you can support your own development in terms of fluency in technology, but also those of your colleagues or your students in various instances that you may be exploring. And the final aspect is around innovative pedagogical approaches. This course is framed around the use of technology in education. And a significant aspect of education is how we teach. It's our pedagogies. And technologies can provide new and innovative ways of engaging with the teaching process. And so that's the third section to explore, is how we can utilize, in particular, educational technologies, but also a wide range of technologies that can impact upon the teaching and learning processes and how they can be incorporated in to improve those processes. Now, for teams, what I would like you to do is to generate some scenarios, some future stories about what the future may be like if certain technologies and pedagogies and other approaches that we've been talking about come to fruition. And we call that scenario building or future studies. There's a whole lot to do with future studies. It's a whole academic space in itself. But for the purpose of this course, I'd just like you to do some brief little futures scenario building and you can utilize ChatGTP or other AI tools to assist you, but create some scenarios or stories about the future, 20 years time, 100 years time. If these technologies play out, what will be the impact upon education and upon society? And share those on the teams.